Hey y'all, my name is LaTori. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos and I am here today with a Fragrance Friday video and we are going to be discussing Jo Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. So just to give you a little bit of background about Myrrh and Tonka, it came out in 2016 and it is described as an oriental scent. I think it is blended beautifully and the first word that comes to mind when I smell this is sumptuous. It's so beautiful. And even though it's described as an oriental, to me, it leans very gourmand. Um, when you first spray it, you definitely get a lot of lavender. And I feel like that adds an element of freshness to the mix. But once it starts to dry down, it becomes very warm and nutty and just sweet. And you still get that freshness and it all just mixes very well together. I, I personally really love it. Um, so just to get into the notes, the top note is lavender and the middle note is myrrh and the base notes are tonka bean, vanilla, and almond. And that base note or that base line are all things that I really love. I love vanilla, I love almond, and I love tonka bean. Um, to me, almond always smells very similar to cherry and I feel like the cherry and, well, the almond, which to me gives off, you know, the scent of cherry mixes so beautifully with the lavender. And that is what is adding that element of freshness to the more spicy wo uh, woody notes, which makes this, like I said, perfect for a cooler evening. This is something that my mom wears all the time. And each time that she wears it, I always ask her, you know, what are you wearing? Because it smells different each time she wears it, but it always smells amazing. It always smells very fresh, um, which is surprising because I don't get the warm, woody, like nutty notes when she's wearing it. I get a lot of the freshness, like the lavender and some of the vanilla, but on me, it's definitely much more heavy on the almond and vanilla notes, which I personally love. I'm a-okay with that. It's just so beautifully done. I would definitely say that this is perfect for a more mature person. I don't see, even though it smells very good, I don't see like a younger woman um, reaching for this, like someone in their early 20s. I think this is like a 30 and up sort of scent just because it is very serious. Like it has a freshness and it, it, it has that sweet element, but it's not, playful i feel like this is very mature this is definitely something for someone that is very serious about their scent and they have a very specific agenda and like more of like a type a sort of person i feel like would wear this um just because it's very to the point it's beautiful it's simple it has only a few notes but it gets the job done and i love that um like i said the word that comes to mind when i smell this is sumptuous it's just it just, like I said, it's very serious, but it also gets the job done. So it creates a certain time and place in your mind when you smell this. And I think this would be perfect for a cooler evening with a cozy sweater, out to dinner or something that you have to make plans for. This is like a reservation sort of scent. This is not, oh, you wanna hang out sort of scent. This is definitely something you have reservations or you're going to see a show, something that you have to prepare for. This is that you put on a nice dress or you put on a tie and a jacket and you throw this on and it's the perfect topper. So I would highly recommend Jo Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. For me, this is an absolute 10 out of 10. I would say this is unlike a lot of the other Jo Malone scents that I have experienced because this one, the lasting power is much more um, than the average Jo Malone scent. I know a lot of people um, aren't so much fans of Jo Malone for fragrance. They prefer the candles because they say that the, the body fragrances or the the perfume is the word that I'm looking for. The perfumes don't last as long or you can't really smell them after spraying them. But this is not that. This one is perfect. It's not loud and it's not boisterous, but you can definitely smell it if someone is walking past. And it's just very lovely in that way where it will last on your skin, it will last on your clothes, but it's not overpowering 
even with all of the warm, spicy oriental notes that are. Let me know what I should try next from this particular fragrance house. I definitely want to get into some more Jo Malone scents for the spring and summer. So if you have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. And if you have made it to this point and you have not subscribed already, please do so. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.